important to make sure that it's um, absorption reports are handled properly. <sighs> 39. And a lot of the time, Libby and I know what, what it's going to be, because we have a fair idea of what's going to happen. We're following that really, really closely, but the rest of the girls don't. And so sometimes it's easy for us to ignore something, um, um, because it's normal, but it's very important for, for everybody to know. So, um, however routine it seems, it's um, a big part of the day that I've got to take really seriously. In, in theory, this is the right thing. So it's not a brain fart or a, a stupid error or anything, it's just that they were lucky out there and you know, what our theory taught us didn't work this time. This report's really good because it's a way of us to monitor how well we're sending the boat. Um, and whether we, now we can't see any boats, we're not close, close enough to them, it's our only way of um, having a gauge of whether we're doing doing okay or not. So. Um, and I guess it threatens our motivation to surf fast. I am very lucky to have the women like push on top of my Javali because I think they're like And so quite often when I say where we are, I'll also say what all the others are having and so how to expect that to evolve. Um, with the weather that we've got over the next six hours, so that the next gets not a bad surprise or a good, or not so much of a surprise. So um, it, it kind of helps show the others that Libby and I have a handle on what we're doing and why and where we're going. Even if sometimes we know we're going to lose, um, if we let everyone know beforehand, it makes it a lot easier. So we'll get into the pressure, the most pressure. We might do a few shorter ones like this like evening. Like to like in the pressure to. Really make the most of that before we <laughs> head west. So for the next run, it should, things should get a little bit less depressing for us because we've been sailing into pressure and so the leaders have been extending, the rich have been getting richer. Um, and now it should sort of start to turn the other way, whereas the leaders will be sailing into lighter pressure and hopefully we'll, we'll sort of accordion back together again. Um, but it doesn't mean we're going to catch them up in any way. Um, uh, but it, it'll mean it'll seem they'll seem less far away from everybody, so um, that'll be nice. Basically, we're sort of positioning ourselves. We want to make sure that we get to the north of the Cape Verde Islands because they're pretty tricky to get through, and at the moment it's quite unpredictable. Um, the forecast uh, that far out, um, and so. You know, you could end up trying to go through them and getting stuck, which isn't ideal, and it limits your manoeuvrability, so to speak, in that you get there and what, and what you could pretty much, it's easy to go south, but it's not very easy to go west, and we'll still need to get west when we're there, whereas the northerly route gives you more options. Um, so we sort of lined ourselves up quite south on the, on the uh, fleet and uh, and are heading, heading west towards the Cape Verde Islands and then obviously finding our moment to drive south for the doldrums.